When placing a futures trade, a trader will need to set the order type, which determines how their order will be processed once it is sent to the exchange. To get started, let's review the two order actions in futures trading. A buy order means you want to buy a long position expecting the market price to increase. A sell order means you want to go short and sell the market expecting the price to decrease. The market price at which you could buy or sell a futures contract is based on the current best bid and ask prices. The best bid price is the current highest price where someone is willing to buy, and the best ask price is the current lowest price where someone is willing to sell. Now, before you click that buy or sell button, let's explore the order types you can select for your trade. This decision will determine the conditions at which your order will be placed or filled by the exchange using one of the three basic order types, market, limit, or stop. Market orders. The fastest and easiest way to enter or exit a futures position is with a market order. A market order is executed as soon as it reaches the exchange. Buy market orders are filled and matched against the current best ask price, and sell market orders are filled and matched against the current best bid price. Sometimes a trader wants to determine their own order price and conditions for entering or exiting a futures position. This can be done with limit or stop orders. Limit orders can be used to enter a new position or to exit an existing position with a profit. Limit orders are conditional orders that are filled when the current market price trades at or past the limit price set when the trade was submitted. When placing a buy limit order, the order price must be set below the current market price. Once you click buy, the order is sent to the exchange and entered into the limit order book on the bid side of the market. When placing a sell limit order, the order price must be set above the current market price. Then, once you click sell, the order is sent to the exchange and entered into the limit order book on the sell ask side of the market. Finally, stop orders are stop market orders that can be used to enter a new position or to exit an existing position with a loss, which is often called a stop loss. These order types are often used as part of a risk management strategy to protect a trader's account from sustaining significant losses if the market moves against you. Stop market orders are also conditional orders, which will be filled by the exchange when the current market price reaches or surpasses the stop price set when the order was submitted. When placing a buy stop order, the stop order price must be set above the current market price. Once you click buy, the order is sent to the exchange and held until the stop price is hit. Then a market order is generated and filled at the current price. Stop orders that are sent to the exchange are hidden and, as a result, are not visible to other traders. When placing a sell stop order, the stop order price must be set below the current market price. Then once you click sell, the order is sent to the exchange and held until the stop price is hit. Then a market order is generated and filled at the current price. Start your futures trading journey with NinjaTrader. We look forward to guiding you every step along the way.